Hello chess lovers, Zorn here and in this video I want to share with you another brilliant attacking game played by the 10th world chess champion Boris Spassky. In this game Spassky's opponent is German chess international master Günther Kaplan. The game was played in 1974 in Zollingen, which is a city in Germany. Spassky opened up with e4 to which Kaplan responded with Sicilian defense c5, knight f3 e6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, a6, black is going for the con variation, bishop d3, bishop c5, knight b3, bishop a7, knight c3, knight c6, queen e2, d6, and bishop e3. In many cases when white is castling kingside and when black is organizing his attack, black is relying on the power of this bishop, but Spassky has different ideas, he wants to castle queenside and he's neutralizing this bishop as soon as possible by offering the exchange of dark squared bishops on e3. After queen takes e3 we see knight f6 and there we have it, both players castled. Opposite side castlings are one of my favorite scenarios because this leads to double-edged positions. f4, queen c7, rook g1. Of course, going for g4 and making a pawn sacrifice is also playable, but Spassky proceeded with rook g1. With this line he has achieved several spectacular victories. The rook is coming to support the advance of the g-pawn. Rook d8, now we will see that it won't give black much. Instead going for b5, b4 is better. Instead in our game we have rook d8 and there it goes g4. White is launching a pawn storm. d5, e5, d4, queen f2, he takes c3 and in return Spassky is capturing on f6. Knight b4. Well, I have to tell you that already at this point there are serious issues in black's camp. g takes f6 is a better line but even in this case after b takes c3 white has a very dangerous attack. f5 followed by g5 can create too many problems for black. Instead after e takes f6 we see knight b4. And as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Spassky's next moves. Ready? Well, it turns out that everything is ready for the final blow and in here Spassky went for a bishop sacrifice on h7. King takes h7, queen h4 check, king g8, queen g5 with a direct mating threat. Here black went for the exchange of rooks on d1, after which captured on b2 announced another check and opened up the c file for the queen. King takes b2, queen takes c2 check, king a3. White king is in safety, no problem at all, but with this forced line black managed to switch his queen into the defense. Queen g6, but the one who should worry is black. Here comes rook d8 check, no way out. King h7, queen h4 check, queen h6, and f takes g7, the only move which allows white to maintain the advantage. Now if queen takes h4 then white can go for a queen promotion after which black king is getting checkmate hit on the spot. After f takes g7 black played king takes g7 and here comes rook g8 check, a move which just asked itself to be played and with this simple tactic Spassky manages to win black queen. Already black could resign but Kaplan kept on making a few more moves. Knight c6, knight c5. The white knight is coming to support the queen and announce a checkmate. Knight e7, knight e4. Meanwhile black knight is hurrying to cover the f6 square but after g5 Spassky forced the resignation. Well there is no defense against Knight f6 check, if bishop d7, then knight f6, and this time the pawn is coming to support the queen, and black king is getting checkmate hit, that's why finally after g5 Kaplan resigned. The line chosen by Kaplan was actually a very risky one, and we saw that Kaplan failed to put a resistance, and his position went down very quickly under Spassky's mighty force. In the end a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. 
Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well, I will see you in my next video, take care.